Okay. Let me say this. I am not trying to offend anyone. I am just doing this video and all my videos in love because I want to help you not offend you. Because I want you to come back and listen to me so you will go to heaven. I struggled so many years with this stuff. Now that I have a hold on to it, I am not saying that I know everything. No, I don't. I don't know everything. But I know some things. I know how to get out many of the things that many people are struggling with now. I do. Anyways, what if you were to not look at secular television shows and secular movies? What if you were to do that? What if you were to stay away from people who don't want to serve God? What if you were to read your Bible and pray and do all of these other things every day? What if you were to do things that pertains to God every single day? Would you believe that serving God is overwhelming? You wouldn't. Would you believe that serving God is difficult? So you believe that serving God is overwhelming because you are not really trying to serve God. Let's be honest. You may not know what to do. That may be a possibility. But overall, if you get down to it, you are not willing to sacrifice. If there was something you really want to know about, you would do your research. For instance, let me say this. In my early 20s, I wanted to learn about women. So back then, I would go to clubs and bars and stuff like that and try to hook up with women. <laughs> and I failed so many times, man, so many times. But I was taking note of what worked and what did not work. Then what I would do, I would read books about women to see how they think, how they feel, so on and so on. I would speak to other, other women about women. I would speak to other men about women I would, man, watch videos and stuff like that about women to learn how they think, feel, act, so on and so on. Because in my early 20s or when I was 20, I was thinking women should act like men. <laughs> I thought that when a woman would not act like a man, I thought something was wrong. You see, I did not understand women back then. So I was thinking in a very silly way. But after I did my research and just studied, 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 studied. Study. Now, I am at the point, I am not saying that I know everything of women. I am not saying that because I don't. But I am at the point, I am at the point where I know much more than I did when I was at that young age. So now if people need help and stuff, let me get to my point.
back when I was younger at age 20, I felt overwhelmed about women because I did not do my research that much at that time period. I'm like, what is going on? I thought women should be this way. I thought that doing this is the right way because I saw on TV, on those movies, <laughs> this is the way I should act toward women, but that doesn't work, you know? So I'm thinking like, oh, this is driving me crazy. Like, what's going on? But when I took the time to learn, research, speak to other people about women, as time passed by, it got easier, easier, and easier. Then everything begun to make sense. So all the pieces of information pretty much connected with each other. Now, I am at the point where, I am at the point where I can speak to a woman right now, either through text or email or face to face. It's even better if I can do it face to face and I can know how she feels and what she is saying when she, when she is saying certain things and stuff like that. I am at that point. Why? Because all those years of trying to learn about women. So my point is, it seems very overwhelming because you are not willing to sacrifice. I sacrificed trying to learn about women. I sacrificed trying to learn about God. Like I gave much time to learn about women and God and stuff like that. Much time. So it is not overwhelming to me about those issues now or about trying to learn about God and stuff. I pray that this makes sense. It is difficult for you. It is overwhelming for you because you are not placing your time in it. Going to church on Sunday. <laughs> Going to church on Sunday and that's all you do that pertains to God. Of course, it is going to be overwhelming to learn about God. <laughs> you are only giving God maybe an hour a week, if that. And you are saying, why can't I stop sinning? <laughs> Even if you go to church three times a week, if that is all you are doing, Let's say you stay there for two hours. Well, that is more different there. Even, even with that, if you are only giving God six hours a week and you are still feeling overwhelmed about learning about God, look, man, serving God is an everyday thing. I can honestly say that Mostly all I do is learn more about God. And even after placing much time in God, I am still learning new things. After these years of reading the Bible and teaching people and doing this and doing that, I am still learning. But you believe that <laughs> you can put an hour here or a five minute prayer, not even five minutes, like 20 seconds or so. And you believe that that is good enough. Does that make any sense? You have to put yourself deep within it. You have to dive all the way in. 
You can't just do an hour here and an hour there. Even with everything I do, and I am not doing as much as other people are, there are some people who pray hours a day, three, four, five, all the way up to 10 and more hours a day. And they read their Bible for hours a day. I am not doing as much as those people. This is why it is much easier for those people to connect with God because they are doing things that pertain to God every day, all day, pretty much. I may learn a lot more about God if I gave him more time. So what I am doing is nothing compared to those other people that are really serving God. What you give your time to is going to have a hold on you. So if you are giving your time on this world, watching these sinful movies and stuff like that, it is going to have a hold on you. You have to dive all the way in, separate yourself from all these sinful things. Because many of the questions I receive are pretty much the same. And I pretty much give everyone the same answer because it is the truth. You are giving your time too much to this world than to God. So I pray that this makes sense. Like I said, I am not trying to offend anyone. Believe me. Believe me. I am not that way. Even when I joke with people, I am not trying, I am not trying to offend anyone. I am not. What do I profit to offend anyone? I am not mad at anyone. I don't have a grudge with anyone. If I really did not want to talk to a person, or if I am angry with a person, I won't talk to that person. I don't go around insulting people or trying to offend them. If I don't like being around you or speaking to you, I won't speak to you. So I don't have a need to offend anyone. Please believe that. I am doing these videos in love. Not out of love, but in love, if that makes any sense. Okay, God bless.